no point of calculating these values people without having the proper knowledge huh? numbers can be calculated formulas are there apply the numbers and get the answers you should know how to interpret this like how i interpreted that's the proper learning so in miller or model you have to identify what is this return point spread and the lower limit so let's get that learning from this question itself the minimum cash balance is 20000 is required under the miller o model so here let me mark under the miller o model you have a lower limit in this question what is the lower limit that they have decided so let me write it this side okay 20000 20000 okay so minimum we should have 20000 return point is the point where we have to try to maintain the value of the cash okay and they have given the transaction cost is 50 inspection of daily cash flow of the past year suggested that the standard deviation of 3000 per day and hence the variance of the standard deviation 9 million the interest rate is 0.03 per day what is the spread between upper and the lower limit so the difference between upper limit and the lower limit we will call it as the spread okay the difference between the upper limit and lower limit we will call it as the spread. So how to calculate the spread? There is a formula that you have to use. That formula is there in the formula sheet. So you can see that formula. This is the formula that you have to use to calculate the spread guys. Okay. So this formula is given. So let's apply the numbers to the formula 3 into open the brackets. So 3 divided by 4 means it is 0 0.75 into transaction cost is how much in this question? It is $50 into variance of the cash flow. So you know standard deviation squared is equals variance. So in this question, they have given the standard deviation is 3000 is equals variance. In 3000 squared, how much is that? 9 million. 9 million is the variance. So this 9 million only they have given here. They have already calculated and given. Okay. So if you want, if they have given only the standard deviation, still you can calculate the variance. How to calculate the variance? Standard deviation squared. So I also calculated the same value. So here let me write it 9 million divided by divided by the interest rate. So here what's the interest rate? Do remember if they have given the standard deviation per day, interest rate should be per day. If they have given the standard deviation per week, interest rate should be per week. If they have given the standard deviation per month, you have to take the interest rate per month. If they have given the standard deviation for a year, you have to take the interest rate for a year. Okay. So here, how much is the value? 0.03%. 0.03% don't forget. To the power 1 over 3. Now again, don't make any casting errors without making casting errors. Get the answer in the calculator. Okay. So let me finish off this part first. Then finally, I will multiply by 3. So 0 .0 0 0.75 into 50 into 9 million, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 divided by 0.03 percent. Don't forget the percentage mark and close the brackets to the power open the brackets 1 divided by 3 so i am getting an answer i will multiply it by 3 so i am getting a value of here spread 31201 31201 so what is the spread between upper limit and lower limit so we calculated over here 31,201. So that is the spread. 31,201. So let it, let's put it into the graph. 31,201. So if your lower limit is 20,000, if your spread is 31,201, then your upper limit should be 51,201. 51,201. 
Next one they're asking, okay, upper limit, then how much is that? 31,201 plus the lower limit is 20,000. Then upper limit is how much? 51,201. And next what they're asking, they're asking us to calculate the return point. Return point also formula is there in the formula sheet. You can check the formula sheet. Here you have the formula to calculate the return point. Let me take a different color, maybe red. So return point, how to calculate it? Lower limit, which is 20,000 plus one third of the spread, 31,201. One third of the spread. So 31,201 of that one third plus 20,000. Then here, what's the value I am getting? 30,400. 30,400. I'm getting a value of 30,400. So here, this value is how much? 30,400. No point of calculating these values, people, without having the proper knowledge. Huh? Now, let me give you the proper knowledge. Okay, listen carefully. So when you're doing a business, okay, you will get cash, you will cash, go up, cash will go down, it will go up, down, up, down. So my cash is going up now. I am getting a lot of money. I am getting a lot of money, a lot of money, a lot of money. My cash reached the upper point. My cash reached the upper point. So what is my upper point? 51,201. But as per the Miller O model, what he is telling, we should try to maintain our cash flow, cash balance for the working capital purpose at the return point. That is the average point. Okay. Then what I should do, I should take this difference. That means what is the difference that I have between these two? 51,201, 51,201 minus 30,400. I have a difference of 20,801. So what I should do for 20,801, I should go and buy new securities. That means make new investments because I have excess money. Ideally, I should maintain at 30,000, but I have 51,000. So what to do with that extra 20,801? Take it from the working capital account. Don't keep it in the working capital account because working capital account is not giving you big returns. If you want to get big returns, you have to make investments. So take the 20,801 from the working capital account and make some investments. Okay. Now, when I'm doing the business again, my cash flow is fluctuating, fluctuating, fluctuating. It came down to the lower limit. It hit the lower limit. Oh, how big problem? Minimum, how much I should have? 20,000. So I should again take it back to the return point. So what is this difference? Here, how much is the difference that you have? 10,400. So what I should do for 10,400, okay, I should sell the securities. That means I should liquidate the investments. Take money from the investments because I should have 30,400 in my working capital account. I have only 20,000. 10,400 not there. Sell the investments. Sell the investments. Sell the securities. Bring that money, 10,400. Again, take it for the return point. Simple as that. So again, I'm telling you, lower point is the lowest level where you should have for the working capital purpose. Upper level is the highest point that you should have for the working capital purpose. Okay. Return point is the average level where you should try to make it. If your working capital balance goes up to the upper level, too much money. So take that extra amount and make investments. If your working capital account reaches to the lowest point, that means money is not there in the account. So you have to liquidate the investments and bring money for the working capital purpose to take it for the return point. So this is what Miller or Monday is. So that's what I told you, not enough calculating the numbers. The numbers can be calculated, formulas are there. Apply the numbers and get the answers. You should know how to interpret this, like how I interpreted it. That's the proper level. So if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button.
and make sure to subscribe my channel. And apart from that, I have done certain courses for ACCA management, accounting and financial management. You can check the description in the description. The link is there through that link. If you want, you can purchase the courses that I have done for ACCA financial management and the management accounting subjects.